Hey, what's up? My name's Ed Newton. In a world that says there's no such thing as absolute truth, that there's this relativistic thought that truth is gained by experience, we turn to the pages of the scriptures and we understand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. When it comes to this generation, there seems to be this missing element that is a segment in life where students just disconnect from the things of God. This ministry exists to lift up high the name of Jesus, to embrace scripture as an ultimate guideline for life. Therefore, we understand this particular book is the ultimatemapquest.com, and we want it to be a light into our path to provide direction and coordinates, the ultimate GPS, that the Holy Spirit of God would just speak volumes into our life. It's been said as ministers that we are to look for ever-changing ways to share an ever-changing message. However, the most relevant message that could ever be told is the gospel, that is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, that he came to save sinners, to rescue and to redeem. And the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation clearly articulate that, that God has been chasing after humanity. One of the things that we're trying to understand is that God doesn't need us, and that is showcasing his name and his fame and his glory, but yet he has chosen to partner with us, that is frail, weak individuals, to somehow, some way, to be able to simply billboard and make Jesus the ultimate object of affection in our life. And so the passion of my heart is that you would fall madly in love with Jesus, not just for just a few short hours or a few short days or a few short weeks, that you'd be a passionate, wholehearted, dedicated follower of Jesus all the days of your life. But he chooses to use weak, frail vessels like ourselves to tell this lost and dying world that seeking and searching for something, that Jesus is the answer. It's just a matter of days before you get a chance to hang out. This event that we're talking about, this event that you should be planning on coming to, God's going to show up and show out. He's going to take broken pieces, make masterpieces, and invite you to be a part of something much larger than yourself. Until then, much love.